you guys? Papa Truth here alongside with Showtime. What's up, Showtime? What's up, what's up, everyone? Yo, so I heard you got top four. Top four, yeah. Could have um, could have got first, but you know, I did a couple misplays here and there, but it's whatever. It's just the first tournament. And it wasn't? Actually, second tournament. Second? That's your top, right? Yeah. All right, he came in fourth place, guys. And he didn't come in fourth place, but branded Norwood, <laughs> Taylor Mix, or Spray. the best deck. Came with the best deck. What's that best deck, bro? Right here, Math Mac, baby. Circle. How you feel that circle is out? Our loading savior, like I've been telling you. Right, it matches with the shirt, bro. As soon as You're he came out, as soon as he was released, I already knew he was our loading savior. And so, it's yeah. crazy because you know they just topped, they came in second in the Yeah, you put me on. I was like, all right, now I know I'm doing something. <laughs> I'm not, I know I'm in the right path, yeah. All right, so let's get straight to it, bro. All right, straight to it, yeah. So, yeah, loading savior, three, um, whatever circulars, just the loading savior. Mm -hmm. Uh, three diameters, your normal summon. You kind of don't want to normal summon anything else. And your Omni Negate. Your Omni Negate. Um, you also get, you know, the body on board. Okay. Um, I was doing three additions because he's like a board breaker. Um, so some people don't know that, but if, uh, let's say they put a monster in defense, it's like, uh, let's say a Sprite Red in defense, and, um, and you want to kind of not deal with that Sprite Red, uh, you could just normal summon this, you activate this. They're not going to negate this most of the time because it's just a special... It's a waste of a negate. It's, it's a waste of a negate. So you just give this a thousand, you jump over the Sprite Red, mm -hmm. and then from there you just probably have to like face a toe whip or something like that. Fair enough. So, you know, it's fair. I was doing two subtractions since he's kind of not the board breaker because he only um, he only modifies attack. So okay. if they have him in defense, you're not, you're not jumping matter. over it. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. I was playing the one Sigma, because um, you don't want to draw him, you just want to foolish him, you know, just to get um, the circle alive. You know what's crazy? I, I thought you was playing way more than one Sigma. One Sigma only, because um, if you draw him, it kind of makes your combo, uh, the circular combo now kind of a little bit less impactful, because you're going to dump any of these guys, and now you're not going to get him out the grave unless you normal him and get him out the grave. That's so, true. and okay. it's kind of hard, for now you're asking for, for him, him, and him in your hand, that's kind of rough. And I mean, you'll see why just because of the lineup of cards I'm playing. One Nabla, um, he's like the lone fire for the deck. So um, it's actually not bad if you see him in your hand. So if you see him in Circular, it's not bad because you could just activate Circular. Um, you dump the Sigma and then you normal him and then you lone fire him away to get your diameter and you just keep playing from there. So this is the whole family. Oh, no, we got one more missing, the OTK oh, button, yeah. the multiplication. And that's, yeah, that's it. Um, you don't play the division. Um, just because he doesn't really do anything um, like in this deck, in the pure version, but if you were playing a, a non-pure version, he's actually really good. Because you could just, um, you could trip your monster from the extra monster zone and get two more bodies, but you don't really want to trip you anything from the extra monster zone while playing pure. You Makes just, sense. just keep it like this. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So okay. yeah, that's all the math like monsters. Oh, math -like. You know what I realized? You're not playing the own. You really did take out Balance of Lord and everything. The what? Balance of Lord and everything. Yeah, Balance of Lord is, is not needed. It's not needed at all. He's just gonna take your normal summon and and, and like he really dies to, to Valor, Imperm, or Ghost Ogre, uh, you know, all those cards. He's just gonna die and then you're gonna use your normal summon. Makes sense. And then uh, we play, uh, so you play 15 monsters and you play 15 hand traps. 15 so, hand traps? Yeah, 15 hand traps. That's the reason why you kind of don't want to clog up your hands with a lot of normal summon monsters. Because okay. then it's just going to be normal summon and not enough special summoning. Makes sense, makes sense. 15 hand traps, you play your 3 Ash. Mm -hmm. 3 Valor. Uh, the reason I play Valor, I'll, I'll tell you in a minute, because I'm not playing Imperm, and uh, you'll see why. Okay. I played 3 Ghost Bells. Um, I got put onto this tech by Sam, so shout out Sam. Shout out to uh, you, Sam Chan. Yeah, this one, um, it just helps you to Factorial go through, if anything, if they try to, um, whatever, DD Crow, DD Crow or whatever, Call by the Grave, you just, you just use that. Um, I played two Ghost Ogres. Um, I don't know, I was thinking of taking this out, but it kind of just helps with the uh, uh, flow and grease, um, whatever field spell. That is true. And you do, uh, you do come across some flu still. A lot, yeah. I, I mean, I face I face flu, like, back-to-back -back in, the, in the tournament. Um, I cleaned them out, but... I mean, and you, just, you, too, you too old them, right? Yeah, too yeah, old them, but it was still, matchup. it's not a hard matchup, but it's just like, when you see them, you're just like, okay, I gotta think, because this is flu on the They could do some New stuff. New City Pigeons, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, two DD Crow, um, it's very great, this format. I was thinking of putting this at three and this at two. I did, I was running it like that, this at three and this at two. I feel like this would help you a lot more. Yeah, this just helps me out a lot more. So if you're playing something that, um, that doesn't, like, you know, need to resolve the Ghost Bell, play this at three. 
Because I'm only playing Ghost Ball to, uh, to make sure my Super Factorial goes through because you just want that card to resolve. To be honest, that is your that is your game winner. Right? It's like almost a win con for us. Yeah, yeah for real. Once you resolve Super Factorial, you kind of make it um like a simple game state for you. And, you know, they're going to have a lot less resources to, uh, to play against. To play against, that's true. And then the two nibs, uh, the people say are not really this good, this format, but I still use it because uh, just Nib and Valor is just <laughs> broken. And, yeah. and then if you have Final Sigma, um, on the board, you're not gonna get rid of your final sigma. It's just you're gonna keep your final sigma. You're gonna have a 3K in the nib, and then you're gonna get rid of their board. Makes sense. So yeah, nib and veiler is just still too good. Okay. That's 15 hand traps. All right. Let's pile these away. That's a lot. Of a lot of hand traps. 15 hand traps. 15 monsters. That is Jesus. And then so uh, so this is 30, and then you play 10 spells and 10 and 10 traps, or in total was 10. Total? Yeah, total. So the one call by, mm -hmm. uh, the one equation is just a reborn. Um, just um, so it helps you extend, yeah. And it's also searchable. So the thing about me, I don't like playing one of that aren't searchable, unless you're really necessary. <laughs> yeah, unless you're really impactful, like call by, you know. It's just call by. True. I was playing one desire just for the draw power. Um, just one. Yeah, you only need to resolve it one time. And the only thing is, um, a lot of the times if I play two, I always draw to the two. So I, just, I, I hate, I hate doing hate that. that, so I'm just like, you know what? I'll need to resolve it one time, you know, just... Um, you draw it, you draw it. Yeah, you know, it just helps you get more hand traps. You want to kind of get Super Factorial before you resolve this, since you're only playing one Super Factorial, and that's really the only card you don't want to banish. It's okay if you banish your, your multiplication or whatever, you can make Final Sigma another way. But yeah, but you don't want to banish your Super Factorial. That might hurt if you banish your Sigma, yeah. Your Sigma kind of hurts, um, because you're kind of setting off your... Uh, your circular plate, but then again, you could just go, you could dump, um, you could dump any other and just reborn it. And reborn it, that's true. That's, that's the true. thing, the, the only one that hurts is Super Factory. That's the only one that I would never activate this without having Super Factory in my hand. I, I just won't, because I'll be so scared to just get rid of it. Makes sense, makes so sense. So scared. Uh, three mining. Have to. Just your searcher, yeah, to get you, yep. Self-explanatory, like you said. And uh, so this is kind of why you play 15 hand traps and why I don't play Imperm. It's the three small worlds. Ooh. This card is broken in this deck, so this card, if you have, uh, I don't know, I guess I could show you guys. Um, let's say you will, so you could go Valor, Nib, and then and then get to Diameter or, or Circular, whichever one you need, because they're all light, and they don't, you know, they don't conflict. You could also go, um, go Ghost, you know, Ghost into Valor, and then get... You could go whatever, yeah. Ghost Ogre, same thing. They're all the same thing. So the only one that doesn't really work here is Ash. Um, so the only thing you could do with Ash is you could... So like, let's say you had too many Ashes in your hand, you could reveal Ash. You could probably reveal like one of your fire... One of your fire... Yeah, one of your fire math mechs. And then from there, get like another hand trap. Yeah. That's really the only thing you could do, is just get another hand trap. Because uh, since all the Cybers monsters have the same attack, and they're all Cybers, you can't really go can't for go the fire on. for any other, yeah. So this is the only one. Um, so if you do want to get rid of this, and like you do want to search one of your math cards, you're gonna have to put either Link Infra or or something like Dotscaper in there. So then you could reveal this. You could go Dotscaper since it has zero attack, and then you could add your Cybers monster. And the or same thing with Link Infra. Or Ibli. Or Ibli. The only thing about Ibli is just a normal summon that doesn't really do anything. I prefer Dotscaper because he's a one car uh, so to your Link Devotee, Link the yeah exactly. He's so or whatever you want. You can go. You go IP with your devotee or or your disciple, and you oh, can yeah. make a you can make a heat soul that's protected. Mm -hmm. So that's just really good. So that's how I was playing Small World. Just to, it's just another searcher, just another sign in mind basically. And so even though this is neck one, this is neck one as well. You still get your yeah, you're still yeah, getting plus two combo. exactly a one card combo. And then for the traps, it's just one super factorial. The no, win con. <laughs> and then one induction. This is almost like your Mystic Mino. Um, it's just the index, you know, index, you know, Mystic Mino. Um, if you're able to search both of these, I would recommend searching both of these just because you never know what's going to get dropped on you. You never know if the Mystic Mine's going to get dropped on. See, guys, it's not a bad card. Came in fourth place with it. This is a very good tech. If you guys really want to use the uh, the small roll, yeah. If you're running the hand trap, if you're running board breakers, I wouldn't recommend it because it's not gonna you, get you nowhere. What would you recommend? You like uh, the hand trap version over the board uh, board breakers? Yeah, just because we have a one card combo now with the uh, with the circular. Before before circular was out, because I've been playing this deck for a long time, I was playing board breakers. I was playing three droplet, three dark rulers, three evenly matched, and three lightning storms. 
um, just those, any combination of those could uh, could take care of back rows or monsters. So whichever you needed to take care of. Now the extra, it's funny because I was actually a very, a very big hater of this car. Our final signal. Oh, yes, I used to hate this car oh. back then. I used to be like, man, this car is just a 3K Try. tower that does nothing. Everybody can out it. Put them on it, guys. Let but them know. Now, this, king. Let now this card is actually really good. You could do a lot of stuff with this card. You could protect it a lot of ways now with your induction and super factorial. Um, the Wonderies can't get over it. The Wonderies definitely can't get over this. A lot of decks can't get over this, to be honest. This is just a minimum. It's like a handful of decks that could get over it. Um, Circular is, is the Lord and Savior. This one's a god. Yeah, for real. This is, this is Circular. With the, sword. with the sword with the sword with the Nayuta blade yep then you play uh so you play two Alan Burton's the reason you play two is because uh you automatically gonna need one for your first turn combo and then if you want to follow up to kill it doesn't hurt to make another one to have an omni so like just in case they have anything to stop you from attacking exactly just the negation you play uh the one the plastic because you only need to resolve it once and you win I feel like if you if you if you're caught in a situation where you need to resolve this again, I think you misplayed you already. Misplay somewhere. Yeah, you misplay somewhere because you, you kind of only need to resolve this one time. You board, claim in the hand, and you got an Omni negate, and he's a built-in um, protection. Omni, exactly. And it's it's, it's, so it's potential to actually uh, to actually clear out four with the induction. So you clear out three with him, and then induction clears out another one if you if they don't bring out a Mystic Mind. So that's four out of the board potentially, oh, man. which is pretty insane. That's insane. Exactly. Uh, this is a tech I was playing. Um, it's one dweller. I don't think I'm gonna keep him in the deck just because you kind of need a. Um, it's like a three card combo with him, you know, to to make to get him. him out. I was just playing him because I'm I'm very scared of T elements, as as Prophet knows. I'm just very scared of T elements, so I kind of just I put him in here because he's kind of easy to make, but you kind of do need a three card combo with him, so it's just not. Um, it's just not optimal. It's not optimal. Yeah. I would replace him either with um either with Iso. By the way, Apollosa. So it's up to you guys. I like Apollosa a little bit better because it's a little bit it's a little bit better for the Telemans matchup. Like I said, I'm still scared of the Telemans, so I kind of want to wait to answer them, um, but not a way to answer them with three card combo. So I'll just put Apollosa in for him, and then you go into your links, Link Disciple, Link Devotee. These guys, Mathmic. Link Arrival. This is just standard Mathmic stuff. Yeah. Your Cyber's Wicked, Splash Mage, IP. And then you go into your OTKs, which OTK, is your jammer, jammer, transcode. And then I was playing one Avermax. Um, so I was playing Avermax, which actually, um, which actually Profit let me borrow, because it was just another way. So let's say, um, uh, let's say like T elements, they kind of could get over Sigma. Uh, they have a lot yeah. of 3K bodies to get over Sigma, unless you make it 6K, which is not always going to be the situation. So you can just put this on board, and then they're not getting over that. And even if they did, you shuffle something back. Exactly. So I don't know. I don't know what way they're gonna get over this. They kind of gotta get over, or, or maybe like a uh, dark will or something, dark something will, to yeah. like negate his effects. Because um, okay. you're making this with, um, you're making this with IP. So he's also gonna be indestructible oh, at that point. Yeah. yeah. So the only thing is they can't target him as indestructible. So they're gonna have to dark will him or drop with him. And that's it, and get him off the board. Or actually, um, if they're playing the branded tier laments, they could banish him with Mary Jade, uh, since it doesn't target. It doesn't target. So that's him. another reason why I was, I would prefer Apollosa just to negate uh, the stuff. You and rather just negates to make sure. Yeah, you negate the monster right. effects and just put it in a simple fight game state for yourself, you know. And make them lose their resources. Yeah. And then the OTK button, the access code. That's so very, you know, very, just access code, just these two is OTK, and um. You also have five pops because when you're doing um, when you're doing your wit kit combo, and you want to banish, you always banish the devotee. You never banish never the ban disciple. Yeah. You never banish the disciple because he's your only light. He's, he's your only he, light. There's no more. You don't even need him once you use them. No, and then and then transpose the earth, so you're automatically gonna have an earth. earth. So you're gonna have your earth, your light, your wind, your water, and then your dark. Whichever dark you want to banish off of these. So that's five pops. <laughs> So if they have a whole set of back row, they're all gone. A whole set of monsters, they're all gone. Because you're non-targeting. Never, yeah, you're absolutely right. Non-targeting removal with the axes. And then you go for game. So like I said, the only one I would really remove is just uh, the Dweller. Yeah, Dweller and Avermax. Um, I mean, Avermax is a little bit more, a little bit tougher to remove. He's still good to use. So it's either, so this is a definite remove for Apollosa. And then if you don't want to run the Avermax, since you do already have towers and, and Sigma, 
and access code you could put in the heat soul for heat the extra draws, yeah. And like since we're playing a lot of hand trap, doesn't hurt to draw more hand trap. And we're playing hand traps to work on your turn since we're not playing imperm or none of that stuff. So every hand trap I would draw would be live against you. Very true, very true. And then this is the side deck I was using in the tournament. Here we go. This is, the, this is what's made him top right here. Yeah, exactly. The side deck is very important. Um, I was I was always winning when I sided. It's three dark rulers. Mm -hmm. um, I was not playing droplet just because it just takes too many resources since you're playing a lot of hand traps. You're, you're not going to have the resources to get rid of it with droplet. You wouldn't do droplets because you can send like the multiplication or something and it triggers the signal. Yeah, but that's too situational because multiplication is at one. I yeah. have to have it in my hand. Yeah. It's, it's never gonna be in my hand because he's either gonna get he's either gonna get shot to the grave by uh, by circular. Or I'm gonna reborn him by Nabla. So I I thought about that already. I even thought about foolish burial uh, to be honest. Putting one foolish because it could help me if I don't see my circular. I could still dump the sigma and I could still play. Uh, but I tested a lot with it. It was just too bricky. It was I. You didn't like the one for one. Yeah, because I was getting I was getting let's say four hand traps with foolish. Or let's say three hand traps, uh, whatever super factorial foolish is not gonna get you nowhere. That's Cause true. you could foolish a Dotscaper, that's just one reborn, that's gonna get you the, just that's gonna, gonna get you disciple and that's it. You foolish Sigma, it's gonna get you disciple and that's it. That's it. So okay. it, it makes it a two card combo which you don't really want because it's a one of that's not searchable. Like I said, if I have one of I want it to be searchable. So that's another reason why I kinda would say you could cut off the part of desires and you could play another another sigma. Another Some, something, yeah. Like I was gonna say another segment because yeah, they something didn't searchable throw your like sigma, yeah. exactly. You have an extender. Exactly. So the helps. only, uh, only one card, um, the only one of that I would say to keep is just call by. That's the only one that's not searchable that you have to have in this. Thing. It is a combo deck. It could be mid rangey, but if you do mid rangey, you're not gonna give yourself the best board. So if you do want a combo, you kind of need the call by. So the three dark rulers. Um, I was doing three cosmic just cause I don't have any other. Um, He's scared of Mystic Mind, guys. <laughs> yeah, Mystic Mind. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of back rows too. Golden Match hurts us. Um, yeah, exactly. No, that, that happened before. I was playing Eldritch in the tournament, and yeah, this came in clutch, especially with your three evenly match. And also, the reason I like playing these two is because they put the Lord of Heavenly Prison, I believe is his name, yeah, the card that protects the traps. This is not protecting it. So this is gonna get banished and this is gonna get banished. So you keep telling me get this, get this. Yeah, this card is great because this this gets rid of the tier elements board without letting them trigger anything. Very true. So you banish everything. Um, a lot of the times they stay with one monster. It's cool. Stay with the one monster. I'm gonna just jump over it, you know, and then on the gate whatever you try to do with you, that one yeah, monster. Yeah, this deck has no problem getting over any monster. No problem. No problem getting over monsters. The only problem is back. It's just back rolls. If you're facing really back rolls that hurt you, like Tikaboo or like Golden Match, these are your removals. And if they protect him with Levitating Horde of Prison, or whatever his name is, this is your removal. Okay. Um, I don't play anti-spell, because I don't think it's good this format, just because uh, the spells that are good this format, like the Splice Starter, the Exorcist of Pax, uh, they're all quick plays, so they're just going to chain into anti-spell. And then, and then the other spell that is really good, that's not a quick play, is the Field Spell for the T-Elements. But they don't need it. They, they, yeah. they don't need that to play you. That, yeah. That's just the extra for them. That's just extra, yeah, because Lice ones and my t ones, I'm not playing the field spell and I don't need it. And the only other thing you could hit with the anti spell is the Brave Package, which I'm not seeing too much. I faced it, I faced it yesterday with PK. You smoked them. Smoked them, yeah. It was nothing. It was nothing. It was like, okay. It was like, it wasn't that. Yeah, he's looking, it wasn't he's a taking problem. out meta, guys, with this deck. Yeah. It wasn't That's a problem. Crazy. So I'd rather play the D Bearer. Yeah, I'd rather play D Bearer. Yeah, this is. Sword Souls and stuff like that. Sword Soul, the T Elements, even Sprites, too, because you could just stop them at their, um, at their gigantic. At their exceed. Yeah, at their exceed, you stop that. And no tools, um, yeah. Oh, man, even Punk, because. Uh, so that's the only deck that I lost to yesterday because I misplayed. And, like, he was a very good duelist. I give him props. Uh, but this will also stop the punks, just from synchro, stopping the chaotic ruler coming down, stopping the mills, uh, just, um, stopping psychic and punisher from coming out to, to kill you. Because that's all he's gonna, as soon as he comes out, he's gonna kill you. Yeah, that's a, that, that's how he beat me, psychic and punisher. The card's really good. And then of course, there's not any deck without a floodgate, so you need one set of floodgate rivalry. So uh, since everybody's playing Tikabu against you and you know goes in match, you kind of need a you know you need a floodgate to get back at them. The rivalry. Okay. So this is it. Congratulations. Man. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Congratulations. I would say the only change I would do in the side deck is um 
If you guys don't really want to do uh, the Cosmics, you could take the Cosmics out. And put Twin Twisters, because it could yeah, trigger Yeah, Twin Twisters or the Lightning Storm, sure. whichever you prefer, yeah. I, I've always told or, people. Or, or, or if you're a really big fan of your Red Reboot stuff, I know a lot of people love, but like I said, I don't like one of those that I can't search, exactly. I want to make sure that when I put in size, I'm able to at least have three of them. So it gives me a better chance of seeing it. So this could be your duster, this could be your reboot. And then to be honest, if you want, you can put one token collector since you can search it when facing Sorso. Um, or even a Mystic Mind. Mystic Mind, whatever you want. Um, if you want, you can put your token collector, you could go Super Factorial, and you can make Alan Burton search um, your token collector on their turn, and then, you know, you're obviously gonna use it on their turn, whatever. See, this is how much he thinks of this deck, guys. Like, he sits, There's a lot of text you can do, yeah. outside, and he actually does his own math with his <laughs> own. Hi, bro, hi. So, you already yeah, discussed uh, all the changes with it. Yeah, only changes, um, yeah. We're gonna exactly. try to get you the, the second place deck list. I'm gonna try to get that for you now. Yeah, for sure, man. When I come in first place, I will, I'll, I'll get you, I know, I'll get you I know the better, yeah, 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 the updated yeah. deck list. I don't, I'll let you know what got changed in that. In hi, that bro. Any shout outs? Oh, yeah, shout out Prophet Truth. Um, you know, shout out uh, my boy Jesus, uh, boy yeah, Prophet, my boy Omega, just, you know, just like dueling partners, helping me doing shit, practice. That's all, bro. All right, Appreciate you, bro. It. That was Showtime's Math Mac Top 4 Deck Profile. Guys, thank yeah, you for man. watching. Thank you already know, you first place coming soon. First place? And first place coming soon, man. All right, next week. Next week. Next week. Next right, week. Cool. Next Guys, week. thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And we both hope to see you at the next video. Later.